22 Seeds for 2022. Hi, I'm Valerie and welcome back to Now Gardening. Well, the skies behind me don't look like it right now, but we have definitely not been having good weather this week. But today I'm not bothered by it at all because I got a da -da -da special delivery. So I cannot wait to open this up and show you my seed haul. Today will be all about the seeds that I got here that I'll be planting this year, along with some other plants and bulbs that I bought at the garden store over the past few days. And I'll just briefly mention my planting plan for the growing season. So let me get my box cutter and we'll get started. While I'm cutting this package open, I'm gonna show you the herbs and berry bushes that I just bought this past weekend that are outside chilling out literally on my patio. Starting here, we have a nice little blueberry. This is going to go along with my other blueberry that I already planted last year. This is a raspberry, a couple of ras uh, one, two, three raspberry canes that I'll be adding to my raspberry patch. This is it's another thornless blackberry that I'll be adding. As for the herbs that will be going into my new herb garden, here we have sage. Next is marjoram. After that is lavender. Next we have oregano which I love how all these plants look so healthy. After that is rosemary. Next we have thyme. And last and again, we have another thing of lavender because we are in Southern France, so why not? So excited. Well, I guess the first thing we see here are I don't know if you know what these are. You probably know it from this picture though. Now asparagus does not yield anything in the first year. Two years is the time that it will take. All right, let's see what we have here. These are snow peas. So that's what those are. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. This one is absinthe. Absinthe is not only great for attracting aphids away from your plants, but it's also something that we use in Moroccan tea when we're not using mint. Super excited about that one. Well, we're gonna start some artichoke. Here's artichoke, which is, I guess this is turning into a French lesson. This is going to be artichoke. So starting an artichoke bed, or my husband is starting an artichoke bed this year. These are yellow tomato, or yellow, these are yellow peppers. This is actually, I'm really excited to check, see what this does. The pepper that looked like a tomato and is a little bit spicy. Oh, this one I'm also super excited about, really excited about this one. Here in France, they use a lot of flowers in cooking. And so this one I'm excited about because I am, these are actually flowers that you can eat. So I'm actually gonna do a little flower garden with some edible flowers in it. This one's gonna be a fun one. This one is a mix of cauliflower and broccoli. So it's supposed to have a taste that's actually similar to the two. Oh, these are so cute. You probably know what these are. These are pear tomatoes. These are yellow pear tomatoes. These are some tomatoes called evergreens. They give a really, really nice flavor. This is some extra lettuce. I actually have plenty of leaf lettuce and I also harvested some of my own, but this is actually a romaine lettuce for next winter. I have not had any luck with this one in the past, but we'll see. This is actually celery. So. Lavender, which I'm going to tell you about later, is actually going to be planted all down below my garden. This is going to just kind of spruce the place up a little bit and attract some official insects. But this is Chute de Bruxelles. These are Brussels sprouts. And this one is Pak Choi. Very excited. Pak Choi is one of my favorite vegetables and you never see it at the stores here in France. So I'm really excited to grow this one myself. This one is, these are leeks and these will be giving me some things for my winter garden next year. This is a red pepper. These are like skinny red peppers that you see a lot in Italy. They're really, really good whenever you throw them in the oven or on a plancha in the summertime. So looking forward to these. This is a mix of carrots. So you kind of get this little melange, this little mix. This is a big thing here in France actually to use some of these little different colored carrots to make a little puree out of and serve it next to fish or other food. Oh, you probably know what this one is. This is spaghetti squash. Love spaghetti squash. So looking forward to growing that. This is some aubergine or eggplant. So these are like skinny long ones. They do these a lot in Morocco. And so I'm looking forward to trying these out and seeing how they perform here. They're a lot easier to cook 
cook because they're kind of skinny and long. I do a lot of yellow squash, but this is actually yellow zucchini. Always a good one to have. You can never have too much leaf lettuce on hand. And I got some more parsley because my parsley has not been super great. Although I have got some germinated right now. So hopefully those are gonna do well, but I did buy some extra parsley. Okay, let's talk about the last of the goodies that I picked up at the garden store last weekend, starting with two varieties of potatoes. One is an early spring variety and the other is a later in the season variety that stores longer. This is pink garlic, which is an early spring variety that does very well in our region. And last, I have these onions, these Red Baron onions. So as a recap, aside from these, I have all of my herbs and berry bushes, and I have my asparagus and my 22 seeds for 2022. As promised at the beginning of the video, let me show you my planning, my, my plant plan. <laughs> let me show you my planting plan for the growing season. Here at the top row is, you guessed it, my top terrace, which is my high raised beds. The second line is my low raised beds. After that is my no dig area. And the final row is my in the ground garden. And then this area here is the area at the bottom of my garden that's a little bit actually in the, the yard itself, but I'm gonna be planting some lavender here along the border of this final terrace wall. We can start getting and attracting more bees and beneficials to the garden. So I've kind of got it divided into whenever there's a spring and then a summer crop. This one's a question mark. So if you have anything to suggest out of what you've seen today, ideally I like to leave my high raised beds for the things that are most susceptible to snails and critters because this seems to be the most protected area. So if you have a suggestion, be sure and suggest it in the comments down below. Always up for modification. I'm sure it'll be modified at least a couple of times. Seriously guys, I am so excited about these asparagus crowns. I'm dropping dirt all over myself, but I'm so excited about this because this is like a long-term project. Asparagus does not produce in the first year. So I can't wait to get this bed started knowing that it's going to yield in the future. And I feel like in a lot of ways that Planning for the future is one of the best gifts that we get as a gardener, like planting our berry bushes or our fruit trees or saving seeds for the following years. It's really exciting to be part of a continuity in nature and in the gardening world. So I think these are probably my number one thing I'm most excited about this year. Probably so, at least. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today in this really happy moment that kicks off the beginning of the gardening season for 2022. I'll be getting ready to start sowing seeds outdoors in a couple of weeks. So I hope to see you back next time and thank you so much. Bye. Hi, this is Valerie and welcome back to Now Gardening. You might be able to see from the weather behind me, our skies are pretty gray today. Actually, it looks pretty nice right now. I had my box cutter right before I started filming. Oh, there it is. It really is. There it is. <laughs> so, okay.